Well, it's a story that Target 12 investigators have been tracking for at least a year, a data breach impacting thousands of state employees. And if you've gone through identity theft, you know how much of a headache this can be. The ACLU of Rhode Island is suing RIPTA. They're accusing them of playing a role in putting innocent Rhode Islanders in that scenario and, now, and then the, for them to not act appropriately after the fact. Yeah, in a Senate Oversight Committee meeting it, back in February, it was revealed that about 22,000 people were impacted by a RIPTA data breach, but only 5,000 of them actually worked at the Transit Authority. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto spoke with the ACLU lawyers today, along with the lead plaintiff of the case. Sheena is live for us in Providence with their message today. Sheena. Well, the ACLU is hoping this lawsuit really brings two things. First, a lot of answers to those questions, and number two, compensation to all of those who were impacted. It's a violation of state law, and we are alleging in the complaint asking for damages to compensate for that. The ACLU of Rhode Island is filing suit. The defendants in this case, the Rhode Island Public Transit Authority, known as RIPTA, and insurance company United Healthcare of New England. If we don't get those answers, then we think it will be way too easy for something like this to happen again. It all stems from a 2021 data breach at RIPTA, leading to compromised information and eventually a federal investigation. RIPTA leaders told state lawmakers the breach impacts about 5,000 RIPTA employees and 17,000 employees at other state agencies. I can personally speak to the stress that this has caused me. But why did RIPTA have information, including health care details, on other state employees in the first place? That's what the Rhode Island ACLU says must be answered. URI employee Alexandra Morelli is the lead plaintiff in this case. From dealing with unauthorized charges to bank withdrawals, she says it's been a nightmare for her. She, along with her lawyers, agree it all ties back to that breach. I'm not participating in this lawsuit because I'm happy to do so. I'm participating in hopes to bring awareness to this issue and help others that may have been impacted or will be impacted by this data breach. In response to the lawsuit, a spokesperson for United Healthcare sent us a statement reading, protecting member privacy is a top priority and we continue to work with multiple parties to understand the data breach that impacted the Public Transit Authority's computer system. We were privileged to serve the state of Rhode Island employees and their families until December 2019 and will continue to cooperate with the Office of the Attorney General as they investigate this matter. Now, the ACLU made that announcement at about 10 o'clock this morning. Since then, I have been checking in with RIPTA employees really every hour. As of this hour, a spokesperson tells me they still have not legally been served any papers. So as of right now, they have no comment. So, Sheena, I can imagine there are some folks at home watching who might be impacted. Is there anything that they should be doing here? Well, the ACLU has an email set up. They're hoping to collect evidence from different people who might be impacted or think they were impacted by this. And the first step for them in court really is getting a judge to agree that this is, in fact, a class action lawsuit. And then they will see where it goes from there.